Hey YouTube, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe. And also make sure you check out my website, uh, Day Train Fearless, for the weekly trade zones for the S&P E-Mini Futures. Only $50 for a lifetime subscription. So uh, you get these uh, trade zones every Sunday evening um, for the following week. So, but as always, let's jump right into the video. This is the the weekly watch list for uh, July 26th, 2021. Um, if you watched my uh, video a couple days ago on Wednesday, I actually said uh, we were bullish. We're probably going higher all time highs. We didn't have excess yet. And guess what? All of a sudden, poosh, just like that. We're at all time highs and we're starting to create excess on the market profile. Um, listen, I do these videos because A, it helps me to really kind of see what is the market bullish bearish when you teach, you actually are doing two things. You're helping others learn, passing your knowledge along because once I'm gone, I'm gone. And if I don't pass it along while I'm here, then it never gets passed along, right? So I try and pass along what I know, what I've learned throughout these years. So hopefully you guys like that. If you do, smash the like button for me. Um, but also, is it helps me to be able to identify trends in the market. And I said we were bullish. Um, we didn't have the excess. And guess what? Now we do. I actually think we have a little bit more ways, maybe up to the 4450 level. Um, with that being said, I actually... Um, I think the market's on bullish phase. We have a lot of earnings coming out next week. Uh, Apple, Google, all, uh, all the big ones. Uh, I believe next Tuesday is the day they all come out. Um, so that's going to be really important to see. Um, they're all probably going to blow numbers out. But the question is, is how much higher do we go? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, grab my Fibonacci extension tool, and we're going to just go from this low right here to this high to get Fibonacci legs for, um, or levels for this leg right here. So let's zoom that back out. Let's go here, let's go here, and let's now draw. So we're going to go from here to here, okay? Fibonacci extensions, wow, I can't make this stuff up. Look at that, right to the, the 127 pullback, right to the 1618 pullback, right to the 200, and then it reverses. Like I say, you want to trade, keep it simple, draw Fibonacci. So now... I know there's nothing above from that, so we're going to get rid of that. And let's now draw from this leg to this leg right over here, right? So those previous highs, and then right back down. And we're going to be watching for the 127, the 1618, and then the 200 eventually. But we will see, does it take a couple days? Do we actually hit the 1618 when we get over here at 4485, which might take a couple days or so? Um, but with that being said, these are the levels I'll be watching. Um, I'm just trying to find confluence of things that actually match up like the trend line with this. Do we look above, come here and then fail and come right back down? Okay. And have excess. I don't know. We will see, but just keep these levels in mind. Um, again, they're 44, third, 29, 44, 85, 45, 46. Let's look at the NQ. NQ, same exact thing, right? Um, nice breakout, all time highs, markets bullish, right? If we kind of look at just the reverse waterfall, we're still bullish. Um, nothing changes. Maybe we do a pullback to this uh, 15,000 level on the NQ. But uh, with that being said, everything is bullish. Same thing, grab FIB from there to there, and then right back down, look where we stopped, right at the 127. So um, these are gonna be the levels, 15,339, 15,550. 
<coughs> watch those uh, levels to the upside. Um, slash CL crude oil. So I drew these on the Wednesday. Uh, if you guys followed, uh, saw the video from uh, this past Wednesday, I drew these from this leg from high to low. Look at that 70% pullback, right? Right to the, the very first touch. And then we pulled back, right? Uh, right to that 70, 61 to 70% level is the short area, right? Because we are making a high, a low, a lower high, lower low. We are just bouncing within that range. Now, if we break above the 7530 or the 100%, chances are the market's going higher. But I would not be surprised to see a little pullback. Maybe we go up a little more. Maybe I'd say this high volume node right around 73. Um, this is what I think we may see something like this right to the high volume node. Um, and then a pullback somewhere here back to the 50 and then probably break out. So um, back up to these highs right there. So this is what I'm looking for. So if you want to trade the micros, 73 is the magic number. Let's look at Bitcoin slash BTC. Um, I said the other day, this pattern is taking too long. We now have a falling wedge, which is a bullish pattern. I'm actually bullish up to about 37,000 unless we take out the slow. So if we take out these lows, this double bottom low here, watch out below. But um, I've been bearish on Bitcoin for a while, guys. And I've actually been kind of right, even though it's been a slow move. But we haven't gone down here yet, but now we have this falling wedge, okay, which I'm actually saying, hey, it's had enough time. Maybe it needs to bounce, go higher, touch this golden cross, the 50 and the 200 on the daily high volume note, and then fail down. Um, so that's what I'm looking for now. I'm actually kind of a little bullish on this unless... We break below this 31.5 level, 31,500. This little flag, if we fail that and start to come back down, we might see some, some uh, selling pressure to take out the low. But as of right now, we zoom in. One, two, three, four. Nice reverse waterfall. We're bullish. We got to stay bullish until proven different. Um, and your first level would be definitely this 31,967 level um, based off the uh, futures. So uh, let's take a look at gold. Gold sideways. Um, gold, uh, we, if the market keeps going higher, we might pull back a little bit, uh, come back to this low volume node, 165. I think if we get here, look to maybe start selling puts. SLV. Um, SLV, we have divergence, but again, if gold falls, this might fall. I'd be watching this 22 level um, on gold. If we get there, I'd be selling the 20 puts uh, probably a few weeks to a month out. Um, let's take a look at Apple. Um, again, remember we drew these FIB extensions, right? 127, 618. Uh, watch these levels, especially with earnings coming out this week. Uh, Apple looks bullish. Uh, AMZN, Amazon, nice pullback, right? Pullback right to the breakout and then off to the races back up near all time highs. And then, uh, let's finally look at one more G O O G L Google L right all time highs. Look at this breakout, maybe a pullback to this 2568 level. But, uh, with that being said, Google is just ripping and roaring this year. It's already up 50% on the year breaking out. Um, don't fight the trend, but maybe look to be a buyer on pullbacks. And if we do pull back, just grab your FIB retracements. Remember education time. Okay. Watch for, if we start to roll over from here, watch this, uh, 2530 
the 61 to 70 percent pullback trade so that's it short quick simple this weekend um but as always thank you for watching uh, uh the videos and all that and be careful next week it is summer uh usually during summer slow trading low liquidity higher moves all-time highs and usually on fridays we always make all-time highs it feels like for the last five or six years uh, during summer so be careful out there and we'll talk to you guys soon